is what is the key difference between Masons and Baryons? Okay, we've talked about this quite a bit now. Remember we said that when you put two quarks together, you make Masons, and when you put three quarks together, you make Baryons. Okay, so let's put this up here, such as up, anti-down, and uh, Baryons, like such as two up and a down. So these are three quarks, these are two quarks. The baryon number of these is one, the baryon number of this is zero. Is that the main difference, that this is, has a baryon number positive one, and this has baryon number zero? No. Is it their mass that is the main difference? Not necessarily. It could be that this is heavier, but <clears throat> we could probably find combinations of quarks that would make a meson heavier than a baryon. Is it that the lifetime? Is it that the meson decays, but the decay takes longer? Is it the charge? Well, it's possible the charges are different, but that's not the main essential difference, okay? By the way, together, these two forms of matter are known as hadrons, okay? Hadrons are um, particles that are made up of quarks and interact with each other via the strong force, via the strong nuclear force. Okay, so hadrons are particles that interact with each other via the strong nuclear force, okay? The other form of matter which we talked about and it's a fundamental form of matter are the leptons, which we said to remember is the electron and the neutrino and so on, right? And we said, remember there were six of those. The leptons do not interact with each other with the strong nuclear force. They only interact with each other with the weak nuclear force. The weak nuclear force helps mediate interactions with both hadrons and leptons. So we can write here weak nuclear force. Okay, so to see the general picture, strong nuclear force is only uh, helps in the interaction of mesons and baryons, which are together known as the hadrons. The weak nuclear force helps mediate interaction with both hadrons and leptons, okay? <clears throat> now, out of these forms of matter, there's two general kinds of matter. One, which are known as fermions, and the other that are bosons, okay? Bosons have spin of zero. They could also have maybe spin one, but generally they will have spin zero. Fermions have spin half. Maybe they could also have spin three halves, okay? <coughs> now, what are the bosons? The bosons we mentioned earlier are the force carriers, right? Force carriers. Okay, so those would be W plus minus Z boson, all of the other force carriers, graviton, gluon, photon, those would be bosons. Now, the other kind of boson is the mesons, okay? Mason, look at this. The up quark has a spin half. The anti-down quark has a spin negative half. Basically, it's like a spin half. Think of your finger pointing up. The anti-down quark has a spin negative half. Think of your finger pointing down. They cancel each other. Their spins cancel each other. Therefore, all mesons have a spin of zero. Okay, so the boson could also be mesons. So not only are force carriers in nature bosons, but mesons are also bosons. Fermions are spin half. So a spin half, 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 half. The other one will be a opposite half, and the other one will be a half. Half, 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 okay? And so eventually you'll get a spin half, okay? So any of the baryons have spin half, so therefore baryons are are fermions, right? Baryons are fermions. 
<coughs> the other kind of fermions are the leptons. Leptons, which are electron or other, um, the form of the leptons. Baryons and leptons have uh, spin half, so they are fermions. So where would you put the quark? Well, quark has a spin half, right? So quarks which make up baryons are fermions, okay? So we could, we could add quarks to this list. Quarks, baryons, leptons are all fermions. Force carriers, mesons are bosons, okay? So what is the key difference between mesons and baryons? Mesons and baryons, key difference is their spin, okay? Now, what is so crucial about uh, the difference between a boson and a fermion? This following statement. Boson, which has a spin of zero, do, does not have to follow the Pauli exclusion principle. The Pauli exclusion principle. Okay? Fermions have to obey the Pauli exclusion principle. So Pauli exclusion principle applies only to fermions. Okay, here's what the power exclusion principle says. Power exclusion principle says no two fermions can be in exactly the same state together next to each other at the same time. If one fermion has a spin of half, the other fermion has to have a spin negative half. Bosons do not have to be confined to obey the power exclusion principle. Two photons can be in the same state. Any two bosons can be in the same state, <coughs> okay? So mesons and force carriers can be in the same state at the same time. Quarks, baryons, leptons cannot be. The most common example of this that a lot of you might be aware of is when we make up the atomic structure of atoms. So let's say an atom has four electrons. And in chemistry, you learn to do these boxes, 1s, 2s. Okay, remember how you did the electron structure of the um, atom? Let's say it had four electrons. So you would do uh, up spin, down spin. So that means electron, you were forcing the electron to have an up spin and a down spin. They couldn't be both up. And then if there were four electrons, you would do two, one up, one down. Let's say you had six electrons. Then you would move 2p1, 2p2, 2p3, right? One electron you would do up, another electron you would do up, another electron you would do up. In other words, electrons want to be in different p states, as much as different as they possibly can. Then if you have one more electron, it has to be down spin. It can't be both up spins in the same p state, right? So that means an electron is a what? Electron is a fermion, right? It has to obey the Pauli exclusion principle. So now you can get to the bottom of what is the difference of the fermion and the boson, and what does it mean to say that they can't have the same spin? So this is a good analogy of that. Okay, so electron is a fermion, and any other <coughs> form of matter that has a spin half is also a fermion. So therefore, mesons, and baryons differ in their spin, okay? Thank you very much.